Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are checking out the fourth fantasy fair in Fashion Dreamer. I'm very, very excited for this one because it looked very promising. It had like a clown theme. I tried to not look at the trailer so I could have like a real first impression, but it was very hard. So hopefully it's going to be worth it. Also, there are some quality of life updates, which I will share with you. And I think there are new items, but I'm not sure about that one. So without further ado, let's go straight into online and check out everything that's new. Okay, so as you can see from the pop-up, there are new items in the gacha machines and there are new DLC items. I took a screenshot of the name, so we're gonna have a look at everything that's new so you don't have to look everything up. Today, I want to say let's go to love, but you know what? Let's switch it up and go to fun because I feel like that's the one I spent the least time in. We will go back to love, don't worry, or fun love yeah <laughs> i really really want a new cocoon i think that is something i really hope for like a six month update uh let me just let these requests come in because it's kind of noisy and then we are gonna start having a look at the update okay starting off with our first patch note is that there is now an undo button so let's have a look how that works so for example i'm dressing up and i'm having my dress on but i accidentally click on the skirt but i want to go back you press b to undo and i guess you can undo and then if you want to quit you can press b now again so I wonder how that works if I change it a few times or can you only undo one action? I don't really know how this works. Look, if I put on the shirt, I can press undo. But if I put on the shoes and then the shirt, oh, so you have to keep your little icon selected on the item that you accidentally put on. Then it will say undo as you can see. But if I move over to the next item, it will say quit. So keep that in mind. If you want to undo, don't quickly move around. And that's what happens. Then our next one is that there are new items in the muse mirror. I think it's only color though i already have so many i don't know which one are new i don't see it saying new anywhere i do know that there's a new brow color yeah i i couldn't tell you honestly but it says eight types hair color one type eyebrow color one eyelash color one beard color one lip color and two types of makeup that have been added and i think you get those for free probably but I, again i don't really look at these as much so i <laughs> look at that i can't tell you which one are new and which aren't but if you check your own game maybe you can find which one are i think those are default items as well for the next update i Item, you have to go to item creator and you can change your brand logo so if you press minus in creation you can change it here they added over 1800 new elements which is absolutely nuts because i never change my logo i'm going to be honest <laughs> i never do but there are 160 new illustrations 220 new frames 537 new backgrounds and 950 mark cutouts whatever that is we should change my logo but i want to do that later we're not going to do that right now but i definitely want to change it and then for our auto one is in the photo act they added also a bunch of new stuff i just don't know if it's specific to one cocoon because that's what's normally going on but there are 88 new illustrations four silhouettes 39 stickers 30 prints and one doodle whatever that means i don't think yeah i really wonder if it's like locked to something so let's quickly see i don't think there's any new filters let's see the stickers these are old oh these might be new actually i don't think i've seen these sparkles before these hearts are definitely new no shells flowers oh nah these are new steampunk elements wings look at these don't forget to check out these items and i think these are new too some of them these are already there and these are the silhouettes oh yeah the graphics illustration okay that's how that works okay so that's what's new again i'm not really sure if it's specific to this cocoon just so you know there's new stuff then we have finally some changes on the gacha i spent a lot of tickets i only have 400 only have 400 left right now but they changed the pull rates finally they listened and they added new items for each cocoon which we will check out when we get there so this is cocoon fun so we have three new items here which is is the striped open collar shirt which you, you see it right here then the how pop fleece jacket with pom-pom collar this looks very similar to the one we already have but this is like a fleece texture so it's not that much different but this one is new and we have this gravity flame tee with arm warmers i really really want this i'm not gonna lie that is so cute imagine this in pink and pastel oh, yeah i'm very excited for this one uh this one is also new we're gonna have a look at the other ones uh let's do that right now actually all right i'm not the brightest but oh my god ah! 
<laughs> okay, as you can see, it's already displayed in here. I didn't even have to look it up. So we have a new puffer jacket. So we have the rolled sleeve shirt with cable knit vest, which is the middle one. The camouflage crop down jacket, which is the one on the left. Oh my God, I need it so bad. And then on the right, we have the oversized jeans with patches. This is a really good one. We're gonna have to do pulls for this later. Oh my God. All right, Hope is always kind of a shitty one for me. And I don't always think the items are ugly. So hopefully this one has some good stuff. Mm, not the biggest fan, but I feel like the one on the right is gonna be very popular. So we have shirt with neck bow, which is on the left. We have the oversized tweed cardigan, which is kind of cute, I guess. And then we have the punk tee with arm sleeve plus accessory, which is a B-type item. Oh, the shirt with the neck bow is also a B-type item. That's interesting. That's pretty cool to edit that. Now we're ending up in love after all. I can't help it, you know? These are all going to be A-type items. Hmm. I like the pants. I'll be saying it. These are all A-type. So we have a shirt with necktie, which is pretty cool. This is an A-type item now. We have a tailor jacket with piping and we have the graffiti white leg pants. I really think these are cool. I need that jacket. I need the jacket for bags. We're gonna have to do pulls for that one. Okay, so these are all the big updates. Now have a look at the new items and then we're gonna go into the events. So I think there are 30 new items. So let's start off with the first one. Wait, what? Okay, so the first one is Royal Morning as you can see, is this not from the wedding event? Or did they not give us that? All right, so that's the first one. Then we also have royal tuxedo pants for type B. Wait. Yes, as you can see here, it's a rarity 960. I will have all the info about these new items down below in the comments as well in the description. So you can check it out for yourself how much it costs and which rank you will need because these are both for diamonds. Then we have royal jewel earrings, which I am covering with my hair now, but they're kind of cute. So we're going to unlock these because I don't have that many earrings. All right, these are okay. So these are not from the event but maybe i don't hate it i don't know what to think let's make some purple versions though these are kind of cute right i like these better than the ones that were in the event that's for sure oh this one is really cool i'm gonna unlock it so you can see it up close but this is the crop tank top with logo and neck chain and it says piece of cake on the rim i really like that one i have not seen it i went through like some teased items because they were data mine these are so good imagine this with that puffer jacket i will lose i will lose it <laughs> i'm so excited for this y'all this is so cute Cute. And then the same is for B-type. Basically, I just don't want to unlock it right now. But this is the loose tank top with necklace, which is a gold influence rank. And the one is also... I love the ones with the necklaces, honestly. Then there is another B-type tee, which I cannot find. But the name is tee with striped shirt, tight over the shoulders and wrist watch. But I cannot find it. So if you find it, that's the one you're missing. And that one unlocks as gold influencer as well. Then for A-type we have a crop jean jacket wait that's actually really cute i was looking for that i think a few streams ago i was complaining that i just don't find any of the jackets really pretty these are cute this one actually looks like jeans because the, the shape of the other one there's like one other denim jacket and that one is so ugly i'm sorry i have to say it but it has that ugly which shape is that like this shape like the metallic zip up it has like the weird rim and there's like a few versions of that i hated it yeah look it's here next to my head it's so ugly i love the new jean jacket this looks way more modern oh <gasps> Okay, now for a time. I'm sorry. I get so excited. This is the cut out athletic pants. These are so goofy looking. Excuse me. What in the Instagram baddie is this with the with the jacket and everything? This will be so cool. Let's make it like. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, the gray is kind of cool. It's very interesting. I love a bold look. I love these items. They're way more unique than what we normally have. And those are for platinum rank. Then for B-type, we have the white leg Bermuda shorts, which I think are like swimming trunks almost. Again, I don't want to unlock the B-type items. I don't want to waste my keys on those. I'm sorry. And this is at a bronze influencer. Then we have also B-type socks, ripped calf socks with horizontal lines. These are kind of sporty, kind of cute. And then we have lace-up work boots, but my head is covering it. They're kind of like Dr. Martens. Wait. Yeah, you can see them right underneath my head. And these are for type A and unlock at plaid influencer. And then we also have the metallic version, which I'm going to unlock. I'll take the metallic ones. Ah, look at these. That's crazy. I love the, the basic ones can go. These ones are so cute. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. 
These are really, really cute. It's giving tweenies. If you know what tweenies are, I don't know. That's what Dr. Martin's always make me think of. The normal ones are like a plaid and then the metallic ones are a diamond. And then our last item uh, already is a new baseball cap, which is a denim baseball cap. Okay, okay. I love these new items. I think this is my favorite like batch of update items that we've seen so far. I definitely think I will use most of these. I'm going to make it the same color as the jacket. I wish only wish I could, we could add a logo. That's it. But wow, 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 wow. I'm so excited. Now we can finally get into the event. If you have been waiting for it's called the Wonderland Fair. I, I'm gonna, just going to keep calling it Fancy Fair Part 4 because that's the first name. And it's going to be clown themed. I've seen the hair, which I am in love with. I love it in like plain colors. You can customize a lot about it. So excited. Okay, let's just go straight into volume one. I love the theme for the two, like the little keys and everything. I love it. I love it. So we get socks for both type and we get only five gacha tickets, but that's okay. We're starting off very, very simple with our first one. We don't even have to style people. So wait, where's the repeat at? All right, we will follow him. And that's our first one done. And I will unfollow. His logo is so cute. I can't wait to change mine. And then we have to say a stamp to a player muse. Then we have to ask for a request in my world. Just going to be just like <laughs> the first one here. That is done too. And then lastly, we have to send a stamp in someone in your world. So I think this is in the same menu. Yes. And that's our first one done. Okay, not too bad. And here we go. So these are all going to be a one-time use, I think. Like the little jingle that comes with it. And then next up. Ooh. Okay, my head is like in the way. You'll see it when I unlock it. But it's a Easter theme. And I think that is a sticker. But we'll see. Maybe it's also like a possible item. It could be either or. Okay, let's start off by following someone in my cocoon again. So we're going to use this guy. Follow and unfollow. Then like an item worn by a player muse. You know what? Let's get his top. I kind of like the the colors on that one. And then make a look for a player muse. So I have a little request still open. So we're just going to do... Uh, just start at the bottom here, I guess. For people that send it to me. And you're going to be lucky because you're going to get the full look. We're going to start off really simple with my full deal outfit, you know? Isn't this outfit so sick? That is crazy. I love it. I'm just gonna submit this. <laughs> this is like an easy first one. I just want them to have the new items. And then lastly, like an item marked with a blue star in the pop-up area. So now we're gonna see if we have any of the goofy clown ass stuff there yet. I, again, I don't really know what items there is. I know there's the socks. Other than that, I have no idea. Oh, <gasps> look at the dress. Okay, spoilers, but we're gonna grab this one in advance. Let's see. While we're at it, if there's anything more. Some people really like I, I feel like I speed run it, but when I log in, it's only been like five hours since the update, and people have already finished the whole event. Oh, that's another version of the dress. More people are gonna pull for it now because the pull rates are better. That is so exciting. Ooh, oh, look, another version. I don't know if I like that one that much. Maybe not my colors. We're just gonna grab all of them because I am a hoarder. They didn't add any more slots for this update, unfortunately. And I don't know if they will in the future because there's only so much that the switch can handle probably uh so hopefully my storage won't be full how, how are we looking at the storage oh yeah i purchased a little bit so I'm, i only have like a thousand slots left i kind of want to get rid of all my b-type items i'm not gonna lie i kind of don't like doing b-type and i feel like i have a lot like i've been saving like 1200 items all right let's see what is it we have a new photo frame and oh it's a photo item Ooh, this is very like ellis ellis vibes with the flooring and there's a wallpaper but again you'll see it when i get there so we have to follow a muse who created an item so we're gonna go here and we're just gonna use whatever so first place and then follow i was already following that person <laughs> And there we go. And then the other three are all showroom request thingies. I also want to change my item box item. That's probably going to be request later too. But I want people to see my new pants. <laughs> I wonder if those are going to do well. Now let's head over to... We can just do random and do those quests. Whoa. Whoa. I was a hoarder. I feel like I have most of these already though. Like I don't need this many versions of the dress, but this is really, really cool. Okay, so we had to go to someone's for showroom, but then we have to send a, a like to a showroom. My hair is doing the hair thing. Oh no, that means we have to like an item, isn't it? Yes, okay, send a like to someone's showroom. And then send a stamp to an item displayed in someone's showroom. Oh, I guess we only had to go to one showroom. Okay, let's just see the next one. I'm just curious. Mm. Nah. 
Okay, we can back out. <laughs> I'm so curious. Let's have a look at the little item before I forget it. Photo items. It is teddy bear one. Aw, isn't that cute? I think that's cute. But all right, I don't want to be nitpicky, but the bow is like kind of like deciding. If we could recolor the bear, I think it would be more worth it because it doesn't match my outfit. Like a white bear with like pink bow would be cuter. I'm just saying I probably won't use those items ever anyway. <laughs> Can't catch me. We're using my items. Okay, we got the Wonderland wall. Wonderland. Okay, so it is Alice themed, I guess. On to volume four. So these, I think, are both B-type items, but it's like the pants and the, the top, which surprisingly, I don't think we've seen yet in the in the pop-up area. One thing I'm noticing right now is that the quests are very little styling. Like we're all already on like three, and we've only styled one person. And now we only have to style one person. So we have to like an item where by a character muse and by a real person. So I don't know why it's always B-type in this world. We'll take the, uh, the shorts, I guess. And then send a stamp to all items of a character so we're gonna go press a Y to view look and then say nice. And then we also have to like an item worn by her. I can't say I would use any of these, but we can take the, the yellow top, I guess. And then we have to make it look for the character muse. You know what? Let's do this guy because he's only level 12. And we have to use purple tones. Let's see of the purple. I don't have that many B-type stuff anyway, but oh, I really like this top. This is the from the collab with that magazine or something. I really like it. And then we'll just do some pants. There's not much dressing up you can do to this. We can add the denim hat. Little, little denim moment, you know? And that one is also done. I feel like we're speeding through this. I know people were kind of like complaining that they that took too long to finish. So maybe that's why they changed it. Or maybe all the outfit stuff is going to come later. I don't know. Let's claim all of this. We have Wonder Parade top, Wonder Parade loose pants, and we got 50 E points. Volume 5. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's like a clown filter. We have like clown pose and then 30 keys. I'm gonna be honest, I do not like clowns. I don't like them. Dude, we don't have to dress up anything. What is this? Okay, so let's go to your world again. And we have to do two quests there and then two pop-up area items. That is where, what? All right, so we have to follow someone. And I just follow, yes, and unfollow. And then send a stamp, just say like, nice, done. So that's already halfway done. The fifth, is, is there more quests on this one? Am I missing something? All right, and now we go to the pop-up area. We have to like an item and we have to send a stamp to an item. Oh, this black one is cute. Did we see that one yet? All right, we like it. And then we send a nice. <laughs> that's done. What? That's wild. All right, here we go. We got the whole photo frame. We got the peekaboo. And we have the keys onto volume six. Ooh, we got the clown's hat. It's a little... You'll see. Am I missing something? We don't have to make any lookets. There's one lookit for a player muse. Let's do the other ones first. So one of them says, follow a muse who sent feedback. So you press Z -L, L. Go to your log for people who sent you stuff. And then any of these people, you can press actions on and then you can say nice back. Or... Oh, we have to follow follow them so then you can view their profile through here and then follow basically and i would suggest i'm following again if you don't know them but that's how you do that that was definitely a new request then we have to like an item worn by character and by player muse actually we'll take your socks thank you very much i will get the shoes but i found out i have like 60 different shades of these shoes and i got rid of like half of them i wasn't even joking i don't know i'm such a hoarder all right and then he got the i like the sweater take that one too so we got that done and now all we have to do is make a look for a player muse so we're gonna pick someone from my request list i really really want that they add the little animation after you style them in the request because it's so boring if you can't see it um let's use the new socks actually finally some real styling to do i guess i'm feeling oversized sweater i kind of want to do the dino dress i think i have like a white version of the dino dress look at the same as with this like i know it's an event dress so that's why i keep hauling them i don't even use it that much so i, I, I can't let go but at the same time i kind of have to because my storage will not like it. Uh, we can also do... Oh, this one matches really well. Let's do that, actually. And then I want to do some purple shoes. This is so cute. How does the denim jacket hold up with this? Which category is that? Like, where can I find it? Where is it? I kind of want to go for it. I, I want to make a few different versions because I do want to have, like, a light wash and a dark wash denim. But, yeah, I think this works. Same as with the hat. Oh, it kind of ruins the hair. But, <laughs> yeah, I really like it. Let's do a purple headband. That's a cute look. 
and we have our next one done. And as a reward, we get our multicolor party hat with pom poms, 50 e points, and five gacha tickets. That isn't that much. The tickets could be more. Ooh, so we have two showroom items. It's like a card and a hanger with more cards. So we have to do a character muse and a player muse. So let's start off by, I guess, doing the character muse since he's right here. I guess he was already wearing the jacket. Let's see the uh, the default items here. A simple look and then maybe with some... Do I have interesting pants? Shorts. Eh. Oh, the denim wash kind of works. And then a the hat or something. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't really need to level him anyway. And then we have to do another player muse. So let's do the next one on the list right here. I kind of want to use the clown dress. Let's see which one matches her hair. This one matches perfectly. This is so cute. Look at the back too with the little wind up thingy. And I love how puffy the tutu is. My metallic shoes kind of work with this. <laughs> oh, I love this look already but I don't want to do the same items over and over. So we should try some different socks. Oh, the doll socks would have looked so cute, but I don't have any dark skin tone ones. You know what? The I want something with a pattern. This one is really cute. And then with the hair, I love this. Uh, I would add a bag if I could. Just a note if you're watching this. We can do some earrings though. That's so cute. I love the shoes with that dress. Very cute. And now we have that done. So now we go back to... What do we do? Send a stamp to a player muse. All right, well, that is a done and lastly send a stamp to an item marked with a blue star just again something different here i think we already grabbed the blue one didn't we oh we have to send the stamp to the item of course okay we got it done wait is that a green version that is so cute <laughs> i'm so surprised how many of these dresses i'm already seeing and none of the i guess two-piece items at all wait is that the right is that the puffer jacket <gasps> Oh my god, I was so excited. Someone already pulled for the jacket. I want to pull for it too. We're going to make it pink if I pull for it. Or green. I don't know. All right, our rewards. We have the Wonderland decoration, the Wonderland display shelf, and keys. And eight. We get three more bears, tickets, and another frame thing. Showroom, 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 showroom. That's it? Ah! Where's all the styling in this? Okay, I guess. All right, we have to go to someone's showroom. But we're just gonna use our first victim like right here. Cause I think I can all do this in one showroom too. Cause some of the, in the last event, it was like follow three or like visit three showrooms and then I would go walk around. But we don't even have to do that. So the first one was to go to someone's showroom. Then we have to send a like in someone's showroom. Uh, I'll take the tiara guess then we have to send a stamp to a muse who made a showroom so once you're in here press set r and then say nice and then lastly we have to follow so you go to the same menu profile follow and that's it uh what interesting don't know how i feel about this event this time like the quest i mean it's easy to do i guess all right we have our photo frame our bear a oh maybe it's a different pose let's check that then we get our dress the little clown dress and and then keys and stamps and again there is no styling to be seen so we have to first offset an item in the item box which i kind of want to keep the um pants in so i'm just gonna put it on pants again and then we're going back to the pop-up area you know what let's check the bear is it Teddy bear one. It's still teddy bear one. Oh, I just have five now. Okay. All right. We have to like another item, which I don't know at this point. I think I liked everything already. We'll do the punk tea. Oh, and this one too. <laughs> And then we have to follow someone who made an item. Oh, they have a really cute brand loaded with a little dragon. Can you see it in the bottom? And then send a stamp to an item. And that is it. Oh, kind of speeding through this right now. And there we go. We have the one parade dress, the keys, and the e-points. Then we get five more bears. We have, I think, I think it's lenses. And we have 10 tickets. So again, we have to send a like to items worn by people. Oh, they're wearing all the new stuff. We'll take the jacket actually, because I kind of could use that and then it's the same for b type oh he's ready to level up i don't think so honey uh, again i'll just take this sweater <laughs> yeah i really like that one with the oversized fit and then send a stem to an item mark with a blue star in the item box 
So we're just gonna go up here, send the same sweater we were just using, and then say a nice. And we get to tell someone again. I'm so excited. We get to do one outfit. Okay, next up, we have black anything casual. Okay, I definitely wanna use this new top because it's so cool. It's like a flamey logo on the front with the sleeves. I love the arm warmers. Kinda wanna do like red bottoms. Kind of like this one already, but we could also do a skirt. Ooh, this one matches even better probably. Untucked or the leather one. Ooh, this one I really like. I think we're gonna go with that. And then I kind of, yeah, those new Dr. Martens I definitely wanna have in every color because they will look so good in like dark red with this. I don't know if loafers are gonna hit the spot the same way, you know? Oh, also part of the update, that leaked outfit that uh, I think I've showed before. These shoes are also part of the outfit. It's not like officially available in the game. I just don't know how, but maybe NPCs are wearing it now. We can do these, the lace up boots. They're kind of like the, the ones I was meaning to get. And I definitely want to get some... We can do the zombie tights. Ooh, yeah. Tights with stitches. All right, that's our final look. Cute. We have our next level done. Let's see what this is. Glittering. Oh, it's an eye highlight. Hmm. Could have been a little bit... <laughs> A little bit more, maybe. And we have five more bears, 10 more tickets, and on to volume 11. More socks. Wait a minute. Oh, we had two socks in the beginning. And we have a new frame and, and, and money. All right, now we finally get to sell some more people. So one of the requests is three lookets players. So we get to like really style people. Uh, like an item worn by a player muse. We'll just do this person again. And also we have to like all items. So we sent the stem to this one. And then I'll take the, like the top. Oh, and then we also have have to follow the player who coordinated all items of the outfit. So you once again press Y to view the outfit and then you press set R and then you follow through here. This is kind of confusing. So <laughs> I don't know why they added that one. <laughs> I want to know about the socks because I'm confused. Because these are Wonder Parade tights A, Wonder Parade tights B, and what, what... Yeah, I very much wonder what the next one is going to be. Okay, so next up we have this outfit for a player muse. Oh, it's a B type. Uh, I was not expecting that. I'll do this top. I want to do some shorts. Blue shorts, some sneakers. I'm just not good at styling, man. I have determined. It's just hard to make it interesting. Like, it's always the same, isn't it? Because there's not really one pieces. I guess we can do the blue and blues a bit much. We can do the gray jacket. Then our next one. I really want to use the new jacket. Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. And how am I going to style this with black? And then either some long pants or a long... No, not the skirt. Something that works with this could be the denim wash skirt. No, it's a bit too much of both. Oh, we can do the zipper one and then we'll do a sweater instead. I don't know, like the little rim of skin on this one. Normally I do, but I feel like it cuts the outfit a little bit too much in half, right? Oh, we'll do the coast shirt because it has blue with the blue. That works. And for shoes, these match a lot. Or this one. The lighter ones are kind of cute. And then I do want to add something in her hair. Maybe a hat. Ones with the logo. This one is really cute. I like it. The jacket is really nice. I really hope we can pull for it. I'm going to do some pulls for like 200 and see what we can get. All right. And then our last outfit for Player Muse. Ooh, she's wearing all pink. I want to do an all pink look. Let's see if we have a dress. Mm. Are any of you still using the fairy items? I, can't. I don't know if it's too dated at this point. There's, there's fast fashion and fashion or two if you're wondering Ooh, this is cute and i want some really high boots but i don't think there's over the oh yes there is okay i wanted that a little bit higher over the knee but this is i think as high as we're gonna get and then for a jacket a little cardigan maybe yeah i definitely need to make more of the denim jackets uh, we can do one of these i really like the the way these look but maybe one without a pattern on it like just a white with pink that's cute and a big old bow on top yeah that, that's really cute that matches the jacket also really well that's cute and we are done there we go we got wonder parade tights hey wait so we get two blueprints do we get two of the dress? Because I would be really excited for that. Hold the What? Uh, there's not a pair of socks. So we get two. I need to verify this. We do. If we get two of the dress, we're going to make one right now. Right today. Right here. Why do we get so many socks? No one's using socks. All right. Send a stem to a player. So we're just going to say nice. Like an item worn by a player muse. We'll just do her again because I, I like her stuff. We'll do the pants this time. And then like an item worn by a character. I guess I'll take the, the, the jacket. It's okay. And now we have to style three players again, which finally, you know. <laughs> 
orange anything you need. I think orange is under yellow. Kind of want to do a dress again. Mm, the t-shirt dress are cute, but wait. Nothing beats a dino dress with some really busy tights. They're my favorite. Look, this looks so good. Am I delusional? I've been looking for real uh, leopard print stuff because that's slowly coming back because we get, like it's been like 10 years, right? I saw one at the Bear Scout. It was so shitty. It was so ugly. Like it was badly made. Like I put it on and it's only one side printed and it already started flipping up. Like it looked so bad, but I almost even bought it because I want leopard print something so bad. I would look so cute in that if I have to say so myself. Do we want to do slipper? Actually, the black slipper probably looks better with this. This is so cute. And you know what? I'm just going to put it on the head again. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. This outfit is so good. Such a good look. I would wear this in real life everywhere. All right. Our next request is pink. Anything accessory cute. Let's do the off the shoulder. Oh, no. Let's do this one. This matches the hair so good. It's giving Melanie Martinez. If that's not the, the vibe that we were going for in the first place. But uh, yeah, then we need like a black skater skirt. I have a vision here. Okay. Hear me out. <laughs> a black skater skirt or this one is even better. Tuck that in. And then we need some fuzzy shoes. Honestly, these kind of work. I'm sorry. I keep using the same one. I just like these a lot. Sandals with platforms are just next level. And then we can do the socks with the bow on the back. That is so cute. That is so cute. And then I would have like a heart shaped or like a coffin shaped back, like a shoulder bag. That would be really nice too. Like a black hair bow with this. With the That is cute. That's it. Wait, let me screenshot that one. That is a good one. I really like that. And our last one is going to be pink anything. Mm, I mean, this one is pink. We can do pink elegant like they requested. Like this is like a dress if you wear it like that. And then we'll use the heels. Ooh, the star signs. The heels are really pretty. I was, I was thinking of using other ones, but this one might actually be. I would add like pearly bracelet and the pearly necklace with this as well, but we can't. So just imagine it. Pearly headband for sure though. Simple classy cute i like it and that is wonderland part 11 done is it 11 12 already so we get another pair of the socks and we have a new photo frame for hope and keys and then volume 13 is another pair of shorts wait i'm curious how far to 16 is that as much as last time i don't think so all right like an item worn by character muse i guess we're, we're choosing this guy again we'll take the pants this time around and then we have to make two player muse two character muses and then send a stem to a player muse in a cocoon this person is just getting spammed by me i hope they don't mind all right i have two requests left so that works out beige anything sure let's see if anything here captures my instant inspiration i really like this one actually so that's what it's gonna be Ooh, with these pants tucked in i don't know that's kind of cute and then sneakers with no toes out toes stay in yeah it's like a grayish beige blue right like a cold gray <laughs> The term we can use earrings with that. Maybe we can do it. Oh no, it's a purple. Let's do pom poms because the hair is short, so you can you can finally see him. Cute. And then our next player muse. Purple anything, anything unique. Let's start on bottoms first, actually. Ooh, I really like this. I know I made it. <laughs> That's why. But I, I don't know. There's something about this print in certain colors. It just looks so cute. And what if we did like a dark purple sweater with that, or like a teen sweater? Which shade of purple kind of like this one like a little bit simple and then let's see if we have any purple shoes i want something casual like sneakers but i don't like the dark ones because we're going for a pastel purple at this point oh we can mm, oh perfect <laughs> even these are even better okay that's good i want to get something in her hair simple white headband because her hair is dark so it looks nice okay done i get i i don't know i feel like it, this was like kind of a different outfit though okay that's good and then we have to do two characters let's just get this guy out of the way i guess i think there are two down here i could style i don't know what's up with all the b-types honestly also an act it's like mostly b-types for me red tones yeah because for men's for me like the formula is like just like sandwich in color so you use the one color you want to use and then you put a pair of pants in between and that's the look I mean, he likes it. Like, I can't say anything about it, but I don't know. It must be hard out there for type B out there. So I don't know. I could have added a jacket, but it's too too hot right now. And he wants pants. That's even <laughs> that's even simpler. <laughs> uh okay let's like it's interesting like it looks different every time like it's it's not a bad outfit like this right but to me it's too repetitive for a dress-up game maybe that's why b-type isn't that popular in dress-up games but as a reward we get more loose pants <laughs> keys and e-points 
Then we get another. Do we get everything twice? Is that why everyone is crafting their dress? Are they being generous? What's going on? All right, let's start off by going to the pop-up area because that's two of the four missions that we have to do. Like an item mark with the blue star. So again, just at this point, have we not liked everything yet here? Like the one with the gold necklace, I guess. And then send a stamp to an item mark with a blue star. So that is done. Oh, follow a muse who created an item. So you select an item. Profile, follow, unfollow. Oh, my pants is getting traction already. Oh my God, look at, th look at that. Oh, I love that. Let me get the whole thing. That is so cute. The hair. I love the hair. I think that is like almost as good as Eleanor. I'll go say it. I'll, it's almost Eleanor hair level, right? All right, we have to sell them, but there's no way I'm gonna... Oh, the hair is so cute. I love that. No, they're getting blue. Wait, I kind of like the sweater with some jeans. I know I'm making it look super simple, but... Yeah, with a white coat. Wait, or the denim. I like the denim. We'll do the other one, the new one I just got because else it's just like a little bit too blue. Oh, this is so cute. And which sneakers we can do one with a pattern on it or we can do the the new balance the pink matches the hair this is so cute i can't wait to have the hair that is adorable oh this person also looks really cute they also want light blue and sandals hmm. i kind of want to use the off the shoulder top and then interesting bottoms i know if i want to do shorts we don't have to but they often have the, the, the best like patterns but i really like the i think i've used this one a few times already in this video but look how cute that is I just love that. The zebra pants. Such a statement. And then we'll do a light blue jacket. Ooh, we can do the new one. <gasps> That's a bit much. We'll do the, the regular one. And they wanted sandals, so we can do that. Do I want to add socks to that, though? We can do add some white socks to make it a little bit less open toady. That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> Maybe because I'm wearing light blue today, too. Very cute. And for our last one for today, let's do this person right here. Are they wearing the, the jacket? Beige anything cute. Do we have any beige dresses, maybe? Oh, this one is kind of pretty. Yeah, let's go with that. And I think some a black boots. Oh, this one has like a little accent there. I do want to add some black accessories because else it's a little bit dark at the bottom. So we can do black hoop earrings. Black jacket. It kind of ruins the fluff of the... You know what? The black puffer jacket is kind of cute with it. It kind of ruins the fluff of the dress, but it's still a good look. All right, we are done. And we get another hat. Then we have the photo egg and new tickets. Volume 15 is the top again. Okay, I do like the duplicates. However, I would have preferred more items, I think. I don't know if I would have used them, but... All right, again, two character muses, two player muses. Like an item worn by a player muse and an outfit by a player muse. So we can... Oh, this is cute. Uh, oh, no, we have to press Y, view all items, and then say nice. And now we have to like an item. So I'll take the, take the crown, honestly. And now it's just back to styling. Let's do this guy first. Oh, he doesn't need any styling. All right, we can style her, though. Since she's wearing the whale dress, I kind of want to do another whale dress, but we can do... A different color because i do have a few i even think i have a green one oh the yellow i don't know if i like that as much anymore but yeah we can do pink that's cute no and then for pink shoes something lolita matching and i want some really intricate socks i love those with those kind of dresses or at least something that has like a pattern on it like so definitely i don't use these often but i feel like we need a head like this this is so cute it's, the hairstyle matches really well i love it oh wow look at their outfit they're so dude people are really popping off with these outfits this one is so cute too i love that dress what do they want black anything denim casual you know what let's start off strong by doing a denim jacket let's go for the blue one and then i'm thinking a black dress but i want something oh i can't undo anymore no i took off the jacket oh we can do the same type of dress that they were wearing that'll be kind of cute i guess the undo doesn't really work for me but i want some high high shoes with that the socks maybe the denim jacket doesn't really work <laughs> with this look but i'll make it work with the fishnets beanie with the logo on it okay that works if we sandwich it again sandwich color theory just squish it in between right all right that's the player muses done now we have to do two character muses dude i'm over it i don't want to do b type characters anymore we're gonna go we're moving let's go to hope that one is also kind of okay he's got to be a, a female npc here let's see that's more like it she wants 
yellow. It's so purple. Let's do... I really like this top. It's so weird. I don't think you'll ever see something like that in real life, which I like. This is cute. And then, of course, puffer jacket. Or does that not match? Without jacket, is cuter. And for shoes, I'm thinking... Don't do sandals. Don't do sandals. But sandals are so cute. <laughs> All right, sandals it is. Sandals it is. I feel like... I could wear that top in real life. I don't know if I could pull it off. I'll probably wear it like denim shorts, maybe. I don't know. Oh, another person with the full clown outfit come through. So cute. I'm so glad people are crafting it. <laughs> uh, this is also an NPC. Use red tones. Again, the recommendations are not helping here. Uh, red, red, red. Let's do a sweater. Actually, this one. And then I want to do shorts, denim shorts. I think I favorite them. That's cute when it just peeks out under, you know? With some... Oh, wait. Wait! That's cute. It's not really red, but... Oh, it does clear the wish list. Yeah, that's some shit I would wear in real life, too. A lot of tickets for that one, too. All right, let's claim our rewards we have another parade top we have gacha and keys and this should be the last one yeah we're getting another dress i don't know if i want to craft it i don't know okay i don't know which color i want to collect some first before i want to scout the, the the fields a little bit before i do it but so i have to do three players and then send a stamp to an item mark with the blue stock in the item box so we go here say nice all right, this is fine. Like an item worn by a character muse, like item worn by a player muse. Okay, we have to style three people so we can do... I don't want to do these items anymore. Purple anything. I really like the items I favorite here. I use like basics, but let's, let's use with this. <laughs> I know they said purple, but we can we can make this work with brown. Right? Isn't this so cute? With a little... um, What do you call those? The school bags, you know? University look with the hair. Very cute. Just puts itself together. I don't know what to say. And then we also still have to like two items. So I guess I'll take the... Oh, I already liked all of this, huh? I guess I'll take the earrings. And then same as an item for a player muse, which I guess I'll take the dress. I'm surprised we don't have to change the hot pick items even once, right? Oh yeah, I, we, only once. Blue anything accessory cool. How about this shirt <laughs> metallic top with blue bottoms? This is kind of cute on talked, right? We have some some tears and things. And let's be bold and use one of these because I feel like I get, should get rid of like some of these because I never use these anymore. I thought they were so cute and then I just decided they weren't and then I haven't used them anymore. Oh, definitely something with an open toe again. And I want to say beanie, honestly. Yeah, the beanie just finishes the look. I can't, can't argue with that, right? And lastly, oh, that's so cute too with the hat. Ugh, people have such cute outfits. Oh, this is not this NPC. Sorry, pass, pass. A real person. Oh, sorry. Okay, we can style this person. What do we do? We can give him the other look. Where is it? This clown look. We'll use these two items, but we'll dress up differently. So I can add something to the equation here. Definitely black shoes. So let me filter on that. And then something... The Lolita shoes, I think, work kind of well. And if we add some sort of black sock with detail on it, right? Something with a pattern. This one is really cute with this. I might take this look for myself. <laughs> look how cute. Oh, I love that. I think I like the blue version better than the red. I do like that they experiment a little bit with how they're doing these fairs uh, to see like what works for blueprints. So they are open to like change basically, which I like. So we have another one with the dress. We have tickets, eight points, and that's it. Let's claim the hair. Here we go. 100 keys. They're so cute. So, so cute. You know what? We have two of the dresses. Why not use one? Am I, am I right? Wrong? Right? Mm? We have a lot of options here. Oh, there's a slider. I'm gonna throw up. That, I hate that. Honestly, just like make that white. <laughs> Forget about that. Right, let's see any of my old color palettes. I have this purple, which I don't hate, but how are we feeling on this? Because I kind of want to do this, right? I think I'm going to do this, but before we make it, we can change our logo. Logo, but there are so many so many new ones and i think it's gonna be a minute before i can figure out what i want i don't i couldn't tell you which one are new and which one aren't but that is absolutely wild there will not be anyone who has the same logo as you and if they do they absolutely ripped you off 100 percent it just keeps going i don't know i do kind of like the bow i think i'm too overwhelmed i don't want to do it right now i'll get back to this okay yeah i'm too overwhelmed there's too much stuff <laughs> i'm just gonna go with my butterfly logo that was too much i don't know what to say okay we're gonna go for the dress i did it 
I did it. It's gonna make bank. It's 100%. It's gonna make so much money. I don't think I've crafted the item straight right off, like, right there. It's gonna do so well. Let's do matching socks. No, I don't want to do the socks. I'll do the hat, right? This is so cute. <laughs> I hope I don't regret this. I really don't. I think I used the right shade of pink. Let's put it in the item box. It's gonna go so hard. Now let's go change my character's outfit because I 100% want to wear the whole thing. Right? Isn't this so cute? I love it. I kind of want to wear the doll tights with this and that's gonna be it. This is such a good look. Now let's change my hair because it's we need to see it for ourselves. Here we have it. Isn't it so cute? Look how many things you can change. What color do we want to go for? All right, I think I want to go for plasma and blonde for both. And then this is for the bows, I think. Yeah. This is some Alm Charbet pink. But honestly, we can kind of... This is so good. This is so good. Let's also change my character's eyes because I feel like it. And then I do like the eye color. And then this is the new sparkly whip. I think it's like... It's a little bit too small. Like we have the star one, which was the one I had, but... It... You can't even see that, but that's okay, I guess. My character's so cute. So cute. Okay, let's end off today by... What dress is that? By doing some pulls in our favorite world, act, And now we can either get the dress I've been pulling for for. I want to say almost half a year. Or we can get the new jacket. So a win is a win here. We can do... Let's do 200 tickets or pull until I have the item. I think that's the... <laughs> That's the way to go because I can only do 10 at a time. So let's see if these pull rates really are better. Uh, nothing. Yeah, because I have done a lot of pulls in a lot. Gold! <gasps> we got the new pants! We got the new pants? Oh, I forgot about those. Oh, wow. Ooh, two silver ones. Okay, this is definitely already way better. I don't know how many ticks to start off with. So I'm going to go to like 400 or something. <laughs> Uh, I'll duplicates. Don't ask me how many I have of each of these items because it's ridiculous at this point. Oh, gold one, gold one. Oh, we got the jacket. All right, let's do like 50 more pulls because what if we get the dress, you know? We got the jacket. That's crazy. Oh, I wish I could put two items in my item box. Nothing. Let's do another one. And that is also nothing. Our right, last one. Last one. Gold. The pants again. The pants are cute. I'll give them that. Maybe they only meant pull right up on the on the three new items, you know? Look at these. Oh, they're type B. <laughs> no. I'll just I'll just craft them. I'll make them a little bit more light wash, but oh I hate that. Oh, I thought they they would have been so cute with a crop top and a puffer jacket and then we have our jacket i am crafting it i'm not saving this for nothing for no one for anything oh yes okay i really like this this is not the cutest prettiest best thing you've ever seen literally i want this if they ever release a puffer jacket with a leopard print i am never i'm not dead i don't know i would climb into the game now lastly let's have a look at the new showroom items before i forget we have our first new wallpaper oh that's ugly oh <laughs> oh i'll say i don't think that's the best wallpaper we've had i do really like the flooring i just think because they didn't add any shadows that the this looks really it doesn't look right. I don't know. Don't like it. The rest is really cool though. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we have the Wonderland decoration, which is really cool, but I don't think you can do anything with it. And then we also have the the Wonderland displays shelf, which is pretty cool, right? Isn't that cute? That's pretty cute. I won't be doing my showroom right now. I might do that like later. <laughs> I don't know when. I definitely do want to put my new items on display, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'm like kind of out of inspo right now, but those are the new items. I would love to hear what color you're gonna make your dress because i would i'm probably gonna have like thousands of colors with these again but this one is like i think one of my favorite dresses together with the butterfly dress because i just love the shape of it a lot and i like the clowns and the hair is so good the hair is so good thank you so much for watching till the end if you haven't already please consider subscribing or becoming a member also i'm live every saturday here on youtube which often is fashion dreamer but this weekend we're playing life makeover which you might like so if you like fashion games so make sure to check in i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye Bye.